How's it going guys? So I'm out in our freestyle barn. I got the skid loader with a manure bucket. I'm gonna try scraping this floor in the middle. So the cows on the far side of the barn come across here every milking. Any manure that falls, we scrape it off, but it always leaves a tiny little layer there that dries on. It builds up over time. It gets to this point very quickly where it's not slippery when it's dry, but then as soon as the cow pees on it, it gets really slick. Probably a quarter inch thick layer right here over the concrete that we have grooved underneath. I'll start with the bucket here, see if I can scrape it off. If not, we might have to use the forks to just peel that stuff off of there. The bucket actually worked really well getting down to this concrete. Got to try to get that side part cleared out. Makes a huge difference if you can get down to this concrete. We have it grooved. It's kind of pointless though if it's getting filled up with manure like that. That's definitely a massive improvement for this. Probably wouldn't hurt if we had spread some grippy lime or something on there every milking, but this will definitely be quite a bit better. I should try to come in here every month or so and scrape it up like that. So I just wrote this on the board in the milking parlor. So this afternoon, once these cows come in the parlor, I'm gonna dry treat these and we'll separate them out from the herd. We just have this whiteboard in the front of the milking parlor. Just helps us keep track of what's going on. So we have whoever's on call, my dad or I at the top. We put in our somatic cell account here from the latest milk test. Any cows that have a calf will write down right here, which there's just actually two this morning that I need to write down. So I just wrote these four down right here that we want to dry off this afternoon. So Megan's going to be watching for them and she'll let me know when they come in the parlor. Just have their group number and then the cow and uh, what type of dry treatment. We use tomorrow tubes and quartermaster. Every once in a while on a cow that has high somatic cell help get rid of that infection. And then we run our treated cows here. Right now we're not treating any for mastitis. Those are ones that would have red bands on that we keep out of the tank. How many we're actually milking, how many are in the special needs pen. They'll be getting started with the milking in a minute and then I'll be ready to dry those cows off then. So these are the dry treatment tubes. This is going to help prevent any type of infection from getting started here, especially towards the beginning of the dry period. So I'm going to bring a cow in the parlor. We'll use an alcohol pad, clean the teat end, put that into the udder, kind of push it up into the udder. The second tube we use is lockout product. This is a paste that just kind of seals up the teat. It's supposed to stay right in the teat. You're not supposed to push it up into the udder, and it just helps prevent bacteria from being able to move up into the teat there during the dry period. And then when they come back into milk in two months, then we'll strip that out. The first couple streams of milk will have that paste. It'll just strip back out. Every cow has a calf about once a year. And two months before she's gonna have her next calf, she'll get a break, stop milking her. So at that point we call it drying off. We're just stopping milking. And we use some treatment to kind of help prevent any infections from getting started.
I got three out of the four cows treated. Two of them are coming right now. I'm gonna sort them out. 915 and 775. First two cows. These are the four cows that I dried off. We're gonna chase them to the dry cow barn then down there. I'll rotate down there for six weeks and then we'll bring them back up here for the last two, two to three weeks before they have their calf in this pen. My dad was unloading a delivery we got this afternoon. Got all of our triticale spring forage we're gonna plant this fall after taking silage off. Last year we had split it half and half between rye and triticale. This year we decided to just do all triticale. Just thought the triticale performed a little bit better, yielded better, and gives us a nice wide harvest window so we don't have to cut it all at once even if it's all the same crop. They got that delivered for us. It's good to have it here, ready to go. Crazy, in about a month or so we can get started no-tilling that in. Keep her coming. Whoop. It's a couple days later here. We got a bunch of heifers to move today. Some calves to move out. Calling for some rain today. Starting to drizzle a little bit. We built this barn two years ago and I tried designing it so that we could easily load heifers up here. Happy with how it worked out. Super easy to sort them out and then they just naturally flow right into the trailer. The dry cows are all wondering what's going on. Sixty-three. There's sixty-four coming. I like when it's that easy. Bye right, girls. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hop on there. So these are pregnant heifers we're taking to the rented farm down the road. Quarter mile down the road. We got four more to bring down here and then five to take up. We'll get those on the next pass. stuck these salt blocks in here a few weeks ago they haven't been going after them as much as i thought they might so we have five older heifers now to sort out of this group take home sort them out of that barn they like to hang out in the barn all the time you got pasture it's not even sunny out today they should be out in the pasture 22 31 26 42 30. we've been putting bedding in here a lot more often it's been helping keep it dry but wish they would be outside more Get out of here, girls. Come on. It's like five or ten degrees warmer in there, all stuffy. Got a nice pasture. So I'm backing into the dry cow barn now to drop off these five older ones. These five are all due to calve in the next four to six weeks. We want to get them up here and then we can bring them up to the pre fresh pen then when they're getting closer. like to clean out the trailer every time we're gonna move the young calves. 
try not to expose them to too many bugs. A little update on the solar project. Everything's set up, panels are sitting there ready to go. We're just waiting on our power company to help us with the hookup. Got some barn dry there. Try to grip this floor up a little bit so they don't slip and fall when we get them out of the pen. We got nine, we're gonna move out. Concrete's pretty slick in here. Threw a little bit of barn dry on it, made a big difference. They're usually slipping as they're coming out. Now we gotta go through the heifer barn, move everybody down to the next pen, and create some room in that first pen for these young ones. We got our herd dog here. 16. Yep. Moving over with the big girls. Got the young guys in here exploring the new space. Yeah, we need to put some bedding in this pen. My dad's gonna bring a scoop in here. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. So tomorrow we got a couple demo units coming. If everything works out like we're planning, uh, should be pretty interesting. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see ya.